Good afternoon here as CCL fans. My name is Bahamut. We had our live draft over this past weekend, and I want to go ahead and go through a couple of the highlight moments for at least me, as well as some of the teams that I think won out overall with their drafts. Let's go ahead and dive on into all of this. Looking at some of the individual picks that really stood out from our live draft, the first one that I have to note is going to be Crowd Control Steel of Lobber. They actually had the pick right before Granite Gaming, and when Granite Gaming came on, they picked up Nick, claiming that our first pick was stolen right underneath our nose. So unfortunately for Granite Gaming, they won't get Lobber, but conveniently for Crowd Control, they're going to get a very, very strong tank player and quite a meme lord as well. The other thing I want to note too, when it comes to the community side of things, is Heavy and Breakwood. Those are two outstanding players that are basically rising through the Here's the Storm community. I'm really, really excited just to see Heavy, like community members in general. Like another big one also that I'm looking at right now is going to be Hosty. During the exhibition matches, Hosty had outstanding plays. They had an insane Medivh as well. And that's something that I'm looking forward to during our Icebreaker weekend that is going to be coming up on October 24th and 25th. I want to talk about some of the standout teams that were drafted during this entire draft weekend. First to me, that really, really stands out, it's going to be Sidestep Kings. They had such an insane roster. They have the main tank of Cattle, the healing of June, the healing of Hyde as well, the solo lane of Kyocha. They've got Guess Who I Am, who's Ultralisk, and also Got Filth, another community member who really, really shines and has shined during the exhibition weekends. This Sidestep Kings, I think, is going to be one of the strongest teams out there. But we also have to note that there's going to be 30k. That's another one that kind of rivals it. It's very, very neck and neck in my opinion. 30k has Hazuobs, BBJ, Vesper, Masquerade, Sammy, and Breakwood. That community member as well who's getting that, that spot to shine in our CCL, which I'm so excited for, for both of those teams, and it's really a big toss-up, but I think 30k is just slightly underneath the synergy and the overall power that's going to be coming out from Sidestep Kings. The third team overall that really, really stands out to me from the overall draft is going to be Granite Gaming. There's a lot of synergy between all of the players, specifically Henning and Svampgrada, and also to note that they've got Bad Benny as their coach, which that's a trifecta of players that have played together in the past. And if I'm not mistaken, Nick and Bad Benny have some history as well. So this is just a great team with all this built-in synergistic value. And then we can also see them having, I believe Nintori was picked up for them as well, who's going to be one of those amazing Chen players and also a barrel boy. So I'm excited to see some extra Chen play maybe in those solo lane moments when they rotate Nintori in, but those are the three teams that really, really stand out to me overall, and I think they won the hardest throughout the entire draft. While the draft has already passed and we know all of our players for the Hero CCL, the next thing we gotta do is get them playing. So what's gonna be happening next is going to be our Icebreaker Tournament that is going to be happening on October 24th and October 25th. And those will have the same start time as all of our exhibition matches and the live draft show, which will be 1 o'clock PDT, 4 o'clock EDT, and 10 p.m. CEST. That's on both Saturday and Sunday. Let's go ahead and dive into the meat and potatoes that is going to be the Icebreaker Tournament, and that's the matchups. Who's going to be playing who, and I'm going to give you all my predictions on this, as I did for the previous seasons of Hero CCL. So our first matchup for Saturday is going to be Chili Mountain versus Sidestep Kings. I think this is going to be a really strong matchup, and personally, I don't have any of these going to be 2-0s. I don't expect any of these to be 2-0s. Realistically, I think this is going to be a lot of hard-fought battling between these, these rosters. So between Chili Mountain and Sidestep Kings, I have Sidestep Kings taking that in a 2-1 fashion, with Chili Mountain maybe finding some cheeky plays in one of the earlier or maybe the middle games. In the second matchup for Saturday, we are going to be seeing Wildheart Esports versus Crowd Control. This one I have, once again, is going to be a 2-1, but it's going to go over to the side of Crowd Control. I think the composition they've built can be a little bit stronger over the side of Wildheart Esports, and maybe Wildheart Esports needs to build that synergy in the upcoming weeks into the regulation season. Match number three for Saturday is going to be Oxygen Esports versus Granite Gaming. And I talked previously about my lean towards Granite Gaming about being one of those top three teams for Hero CCL based on the synergistic value of the players that were drafted. That one I'm giving it to Granite Gaming in a 2-1 fashion. Finally for Saturday, our last best of three will be 30k versus Simplicity. Both of them have strong drafts, but as I noted beforehand, I think 30k has got one of the top three teams in the Hero CCL, so I'm expecting them to take this in a 2-1 fashion. 
Moving into our second day, which will be Sunday, October 25th, we have two best of threes and a best of five to close out the day. So for me and my predictions, I have sidestep kings going up against crowd control, and sidestep kings will take that in a 2-1 fashion as well. Think crowd control can maybe make some cheeky plays up against sidestep kings and catch them off guard. Second best of three of that Sunday is going to be granite gaming going up against 30k. While I do think that these are some of the top teams, I think 30k will be able to take this one in a 2-1 fashion. For the final match of the day, a best of five, I have sidestep kings going up against 30k. I believe that these are the two top teams in Heroes CCL based on the live draft from our previous weekend. And I gotta say, it's gonna be a close one, but I think Sidestep Kings will take that in a 3-2 fashion. Let me know if I missed anything, any highlights from the draft show, anything that I might have missed in my predictions for the upcoming Icebreaker tournament. Leave the comments below, let us know, tweet at us, and also check out our Instagram as well for more content. And until then, we'll see you in the Nexus.